Inflation near a 40-year high. That doesn't sound good. Dow dropped 600 points. NASDAQ 3% lower. Well, that doesn't sound good either. The Fed to hike interest rates by 75 basis points on November 2nd. Well, that doesn't sound good. You know what I should do? I should buy a camera. Hmm, in stock. Add to cart. Sounds like a good plan. All right. Yes. What the fudge? Son of a biscuit eater. They got me, YouTube. Yes. So why did I buy the Fuji GFX100? Uh, I bought it to do landscape photography. I've been wanting one of these, well, before this even came out, when they came out with the original 50 megapixel version of this uh, several years ago. Um, I'm a Canon shooter, never owned a Fuji, but when they announced this camera, I really wanted one and I've been thinking about it for years. And I want to do some photography where I'm, you know, I don't go out and take, you know, two, three hundred pictures. I go out and take five pictures. I'm going to print the images. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But that's my intention. This video is meant just to be a quick overview of the Fuji GFX 100S. So far, I really like the camera. The files are really nice. I'll post a couple pictures. Uh, there have been no edits other than cropping uh, for a 1920 by 1080. Uh, format size. Um, the only thing that really drives me uh, nuts a little bit about the camera is the touch screen. Uh, in some modes it, it's a touch screen. Uh, in other modes it's not. It sort of reminds me of the 1DX Mark II in that regard. Uh, there'll be more to come on the Fuji. I'll do some detailed uh, comparisons to the Canon R5 and even the 1DX Mark II. Um, and you know, maybe past uh, experiences with uh, Canon 5Ds that I owned. Anyway, so far it's a great camera. Really enjoy shooting with it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.